hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm gonna tell you about uh, the implementation of swagger in asp.net 6 application uh, asp.net 6 is the latest version of asp.net and uh, today i'm gonna tell you about uh, the basic implementation of swagger uh, and what are the parameters required what are the packages required what are the dependency where we, uh, where we need to inject those, those dependencies and uh, in the new structure of asp.net 6 uh, i'm gonna tell you how we can where how and where we can inject those dependencies so let's get started uh, so first uh, we need swagger.asp.net core nugget uh, uh, to make our swagger work and uh, we need to install this package into our application it has some dependencies uh, which is swashbuckle.asp.net core.swagger and swashbuckle.asp.net core and swagger generation swashbuckle.asp.net core.swagger ui these, these three dependencies are dependent on asp.net core swagger so all these three are installed by default when we install this package so next once we have installed this package then our next work is to inject the services and inject uh, define the application configurations on services we need to uh, add swagger generation and uh, for the application configuration we need to add use swagger and use swagger ui so when we are using use swagger ui then we have to define the default root of the swagger default endpoint for the swagger which is slash swagger slash v1 slash swagger dot json and endpoint name could be any anything actually uh, uh, we are defining it a version name because generally when we have a multiple endpoint version so it is easy to distinguish and we need to define the route prefix for that as well uh, which is uh, string dot empty so let's get started with the code select the asp.net core empty project click on next and uh, give the name for your to your project i'm giving demo application and click on next select the latest dotnet 6 framework and configure for https then uh, click on create I've already created a project for that, uh, so let's not waste uh, waste our time and proceed with that. So here we have a program file which is a, a entry point for the application. Uh, earlier we have, if you worked on uh, sprout core, then uh, you found that we have class file and the import statements, uh, but in .NET six everything is removed, and uh, only we have just we have a single file containing all the dependencies uh, related to services uh, like dependency injections and the configure the application uh, uh, configure the and uh, uh, regarding the application services uh, the, these are also configured in the program file so here we are also inject the dependency for swagger so let's install the swagger first uh, go to your solution explorer right click on your application and go to click on manage nuget packages go to click on browse and search for swagger.asp.net core so here we have multiple packages related to swagger but we have to download swagbuckle.asp.net core only I have already installed in this in my project. You have to just install this software, and uh, it will contain all three: uh, Swagger UI, Swagger Generation, and Swagger. Close it. Once the package is uh, once the Swagger package is installed, you can uh, see the Swagger under the dependencies uh, inside package swagbuckle.asp.net core. Uh, so let's get started uh, to uh, inject the uh, dependency in program.cs file so uh, 
let's configure the services for swagger same for application configuration as well app dot use swagger and app dot use swagger ui as i mentioned before that uh, use swagger ui has some properties which we need to uh, define it before proceed so it has some uh, uh, properties like uh, route prefix we do not need any specific route uh, we do not need any specific route to be entered uh, for the swagger so just pass it empty string to find the endpoint for swagger which i mentioned that swagger slash v1 slash swagger dot json and the name for uh, endpoint could be anything i'm taking it v1 here once you have implemented all of these things uh, you must know one thing uh, before running this application you have uh, the swagger contain the group of api endpoints so you must have the endpoint for that so for endpoint you must have a controller and i have already created a, a controller in my project here you can see home controller <coughs> sorry inside home controller you can see i have created one endpoint which is get string i'm just returning a demo application from the get string method so let's build this application and uh, run the application by clicking on the green icon so our server is uh, open in the browser and uh, you can see our application is loaded and with one endpoint home with get string and uh, let's see whether it is working or not okay click on try it out then execute yeah here we get a 200 status code our application endpoint successfully returned the demo application from the get string method uh, it means our swagger is working fine uh, let's get back to the code so uh, the basic implementation for swagger is done by using uh, by uh, installing the swagger and injecting this dependency into the program.cs file in the next video i'm going to tell you about uh, how you can protect your endpoint uh, uh, by using authorization to prevent unauthorized uh, access of your endpoint if you find this uh, video helpful then please like and subscribe to my channel thank you